Welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel, that dating anxiety guy. And in today's video, I'm gonna help you with setting your dating goals because I genuinely believe if you really wanna make a difference and get the kind of date in life that you've always wanted, then you need to be identifying the problems that you currently have and what you can do about it to fix it. So I'm gonna go over with you a really simple exercise that I've given to all of my clients to really help them to identify or just get more clarity on their current issues and what they can do about it. So I've got my canvas open here and what I'd love for you to do as well is maybe perhaps even get a notepad and pen or open uh, a new tab on your phone, a new notepad on your phone and just write notes as you're going along with this. Otherwise, alternatively, you can end up just doing this afterwards as well. But the first thing that is always worth just trying to identify is what the problem is or problems that you've got that you know that you need to fix. So if I just click uh, on here, so um, so number one, my God, that's enormous. Hang on, there we go. So number one, the thing that you wanna look at is identify the problem. Okay. So we've got that nice and big. So what kind of uh, problems do, uh, do, do men typically have? Or what have I kind of heard over the years? Well, um, certainly one of the big ones that a lot of guys will say, or what I've heard from clients is, I don't know how to speak to women. It's usually like one of the main ones that I think everyone tends to, uh, uh, tends to certainly say. Uh, in fact, we'll just make that even smaller. So I've got space here. So I don't know how to speak to women. So we're kind of just going for very surface level points here. Um, so what would be perhaps maybe another, uh, I think another thing that I've heard uh, is guys saying, uh, I don't go on enough dates. Yeah, I quite like that one. Okay, so I'm gonna just make that a bit smaller as well. <laughs> They're gonna be slightly different sized here, but that's uh, as long as there's a, that difference between the point and the actual points. Um, and perhaps maybe just uh, to round it off with a, with a third point, um, I think another one would be that guys complain about that they, uh, uh, they're not, meeting the kind of women they want a relationship with. I think that's probably a good one because then we've got a bit of a variation here rather than it just being um, uh, conversation skills. Uh, you've actually got, oh, whoops, that's what I get for, for not holding a shift. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of a variation then of, um, of problems there that, that guys would typically have. And these will probably also most likely be things that you'll be struggling with um, as well. So we've got a few problems here that we've at least identified. And then what would be the, the next phase that we would then look at? So that would be then um, playing a bit more of a life coaching kind of role here and asking that deeper question, okay, like, okay, well, what specifically with these need working on? So what specifically needs working on? And it's kind of good to really ask yourself that question as well, because uh, it also just gives you that clarity um, at the same time. Um, there we go. Let's just make that smaller. Whoops. That's because it's really highlighted. Or not. No, there we go. Let's just make that smaller. So I'm just doing this on Photoshop. Okay. So now we've got the, that second point. So what specifically with these uh, these problems that we've identified are we uh, are we struggling with? So one might be, for example, okay, whoops. 
Uh, let me just click here. And then I'm going to just change that size down to that. There you go, that's better. Um, so what specifically needs working on? Well, a typical thing that guys might then say is that I don't know how to start a conversation. Okay. So that could potentially be one. Uh, another one might be, um, uh, I don't know what to say to her. I don't know what to say to, to her. So we've at least then already like identified that, okay, so uh, a client doesn't know how to speak to women, but in particular, he doesn't know how to start the conversation. He doesn't know how to transition it into actual topics. He doesn't know what things that he could talk about. Maybe even again, um, it could be things like, um, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to ask for her phone number. So again, a nice particular thing uh, that someone might be struggling with. And actually also whilst I am thinking about it, another one could be um, uh, that the, the specific issue is uh, I'm not, uh, not meeting, uh, uh, what would be the way to, to phrase it? Uh, the issue that I'm specifically working on is I'm not meeting uh, women uh, in the right places, in the right places slash locations, just to, just to give that extra clarity um, with that. So we've got then those particular problems that then a guy is struggling with. We've got the overarching issue and then the minor issues within that. And then the third phase of this that then you would be uh, be looking at and um, and going through is how can I achieve this? How can I? So I'll put these because it's a bit more more of an open open question. And also just put a number at the front of that as well, just to make that even clearer. Okay. In fact, I'm also just going to open the blinds just a little bit. It suddenly went a little bit dark there. Um, so we've got identifying the problem, what specifically needs working on, and also how can I achieve these? So with this one, it's really looking at what is the solution to the problem or what particular goals can you be setting yourself that can help you to uh, achieve fixing these particular problems that you've got. So like, okay, an easy one, for example, would be to uh, to go, go to a dating coach, let's say. So, you know, for, for the guys who are maybe struggling with certainly doing like cold approach, uh, struggling with learning how to be able to flirt or have conversation skills with women, then perhaps certainly, you know, the idea of actually going to an expert could be already like option number one here, but it doesn't always necessarily have to be that. Uh, another point, so like for example, where I've got here about meeting women in the right places, maybe you need to expand your horizons in where you're meeting women. So, you know, maybe you are someone who um, doesn't have the opportunity to go out and do cold approaching, but you've never really used dating apps, then I would be recommending perhaps, you know, use dating apps. Or vice versa, if you're someone who's constantly using dating apps and you're not happy with the women that you're meeting on that, then perhaps maybe you need to consider doing uh, cold approaching. So, you know, you've then got the option there of, of two different things and going even a step further on that, it would be, okay, well, how frequently do I need to be going out and doing cold approach or if I'm using dating apps um, how frequently do I want to use it is it worth investing in the paid version you know is it worth certainly going to a photographer to help improve your profile pictures so you are 
getting better results. And then from things like that, then you can obviously book them in. Um, same as if you're looking to potentially have um, so many dates in the year, which, okay, this is going to then go into another video that I'm going to do about planning short term and long term dating goals. But, you know, you could then be thinking about reverse engineering the whole process and going, okay, well, what do I need to do if I want to get a date a week? That's the amount of free time that I've got. So what do I need to do to be able to achieve that kind of number is it a mixture of online dating or dating apps is it a mixture of spending a few hours a week going out and doing cold approaching or another one yeah which you know certainly i think a lot of guys don't consider and this can also um, really help with your conversation skills and certainly just being more comfortable in social environments is uh going to um going to social events or getting hobbies and what's great even with these you know especially for guys who are looking to um to meet women that they want to have long-term relationships with then it can be really good to be actually going to uh, events or workshops or taking classes in things where you're going to meet people with very similar interests and um, and even then you'll get better friendships you'll be able to develop your uh, your social skills especially your conversation skills um, you'll have more fun interacting with women and if anything that will just only help with you developing your um, your confidence with the opposite sex and when it comes to you then maybe even combining that with cold approaching or maybe even meeting someone that you really like at these places you can then take that chance and uh, and go for asking them out on a date so just recapping this hopefully uh, this all kind of makes sense for you but first of all what I'd love for you to do is just simply identify the problems that you've got with your dating life at the moment and then number two going a bit deeper with them and asking yourself what specifically in these dating issues do you need to work on what do you need to fix that's going to help you with your uh, your long-term and short-term dating goals uh, and again I'll, I'll cover that in another video and then lastly it's thinking about what can you do to actually achieve these is it maybe getting yourself a hobby and going out once a week or going to a social event is it going to a dating coach or another kind of self-improvement coach is it worth going and doing trainings to help develop particular skills for you is it worth you going on dating apps is it worth you cold approaching and going out with other guys or practicing on your own the list with this could go on and on. I mean, these again are just very simple examples and certainly I think probably the more popular ones that I have heard with guys. But I'd love for you to have a think for yourself in your own time and why not to get a conversation going underneath this video, why not leave in the comments what problems you've identified, what things you're thinking about specifically working on, and what solutions have you uh, come up with to be able to achieve these. So they can really then help you with reaching the goals that you want for your dating life. Like for example as well, coming to think about it, you know, if you want a girlfriend, but one of the problems that you've identified is that you don't know how to talk to women, then there's no point thinking about the um, the end goal just yet. You want to think about all of these other little steps that need to be achieved first for you to be able to get to that. Because if you can't have a conversation with a woman, then there's no point worrying uh, as of yet about trying to get yourself a girlfriend or finding someone that you want to get married to and having kids with start with the baby steps and this is what is great really with this exercise because it just gets you to think about all of the little things that you've got the issues or struggles with and just thinking about okay well what do i need to do to overcome them and it's just a, another great way really just to take responsibility for your actions and uh and and genuinely coach yourself 
into taking action in the right kind of way. So I'd love to hear what things you've come up with. Certainly leave them in the comments below. If you can, please like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out, certainly helps the growth of the channel and me reaching even more people. And I've, again, got so much content that I really want to be bringing out uh, for this year. And the only way I can do it is with your help and certainly with your input in what you're struggling with and what I can certainly help you with, whether it be doing day game, cold approach, or just your general dating life overall. Um, the more I can help, then the better the results that you are going to get. So thank you very much for watching. Of course, I've been that dating anxiety guy, Dan, and uh, until the next video, do the homework and I look forward to reading your comments.